This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Lucy at DME. Bayelsa State Government says it has imposed curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. since Sunday in the state to control the spread of COVID-19 new variant. The State Commissioner for Information Chief Ayibai Naduba announced the decision on Monday. Duba said relevant security agencies have been mobilized to enforce the curfew. He said movement within and out of the state through the major entry points, including Bayelsa Delta State Boundary and Bayelsa River State Boundary, are prohibited during the hours of the curfew. The Kaduna State Government says it would not be distracted by what it called sabotage of its policy by labor union leaders following Nigeria Labor Congress's shutdown of activities in the state. The state said the five-day warning strike by the NLC, which began on Monday, would not distract it. It distracted from its plan to right-size the civil service of the state. Labor union leaders took to the street in protests on Monday over massacre of 4,000 workers in Kaduna State. The state head of service, Baratu Mohammed, reacted on Monday, saying the state government will not rescind the decision to sack civil servants that are not needed in the state. Electricity, government schools and offices, banks, the airport and the train station have all been shut down in Kaduna as part of a five-day notice strike called by the Nigeria Labour Congress. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Uganda said on Monday it has reached an agreement with neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo to share intelligence and coordinate new push to combat Islamist rebels who have been blamed for worsening violence in DR Congo's east. A week ago, officials said the two countries will set up an operation center in eastern DR Congo to fight the rebels known as the Allied Democratic Forces. Spokeswoman for the Uganda People's Defense Forces, Brigadier Flavia Biakrazo, said there will be coordination, sharing intelligence, sharing information, and all sorts of security nature kind of activities. The United Nations said the violence in eastern DRC killed 850 persons last year. In March, the United States labeled the ADF a foreign terrorist organization. That is ANN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi.